Obviously, I'm used to going to the Council of Ministers to meet with my European colleagues, and it's been good to touch base with some of them again. But it's, you know, it is phenomenal to be able to sit in a room with the United States, the Russian Federation, China, and lots of smaller countries who you know, every bit as important to this particular forum. So uh, and it is, of course, important that uh, when we're looking at the big global issues, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, looking at some of the other issues affecting us, uh, it's important that we can get international agreement and that's why it's good to get us all sat around the table and have a full and frank debate. And you mentioned one of those big global issues there, uh, climate change, Ban Ki-moon challenging you all to go faster and to go greener. What can the UK do in the transport sec sector ahead of COP21? Well, obviously, we've already got our Climate Change Act on the statute book, and we're actually on track to meet our obligations for an 80% reduction in CO2 emissions by 2050. And we're already doing a lot of things as a government to achieve that. Uh, we're seeing uh, more electric vehicles being uh, bought uh, in the UK, and we have a subsidy to help with that. Uh, we're installing charging points. And, of course, we're on a, involved in a major electrification program of our rail network. So we're uh, electrifying uh, over... 650 miles of our rail network and of course high speed rail uh, the new system that we're introducing will also be able to run on uh, sustainable electricity. The minister session this morning a lot of talk about COP21 and what can be done in the run-up to that. What, what do you hope that as countries together you can achieve? Well I, I think we need to particularly address some of the concerns of the developing world or, you know, the, the countries that uh, you know are not emitting large amounts of carbon but probably argue well wait a minute you know you're already a, a developed country you're already very very uh, addicted I think to uh, burning fossil fuels you know how can we ensure that we can meet our international obligations uh, in a fair way so that developing countries and the developed countries can actually play their part